Hey, what's up? What's going on? And welcome to Movie Buffers, episode 25. This episode is going to be about Rob Zombie's The Monsters from 2022. But before I get into that, I want to ask you all to please like and subscribe and smash the bell so you can get notified when new episodes come out on this channel. Wow. Oh, man. I was not planning on seeing this. The trailers definitely solidified that. But once I saw that it was on Netflix, I just threw it on thinking whatever. How bad could it be? Well, it was so bad that I decided to use the 1 hour and 41 minutes of my life that I'll never get back and give it a piece of my mind on the internet. And maybe give it a score. God, of all the movies to do, too. I was so shocked at how many reviews are out there already on this movie. I mean, what is that saying? We could have chosen not to watch this warehouse fire, but we did anyway. And we are talking about it, so let's get into it. Now, I've seen the monsters on at random times, at random TVs, at random old people's houses. It's never been a show that I had ever had any personal ties to. I didn't grow up with it, and it's weird because I grew up watching like Andy Griffith, Leave it to Beaver, Adam's Family, and The Little Rascals. And I was a 90s kid, so I have no frame of reference here. I could tell the zombie was going for like a sitcom, but the cameras they use, the set pieces, the costumes, it just doesn't fit at all for like anything it just doesn't work like why wouldn't they do it in front of a live studio audience or something if they're going to be this silly with it and they brought hurley back from lost to be in this piece of shit we truly live in the strangest timeline i don't even know why i watched this but it's october so i gotta watch one shitty spooky themed film i guess and rob zombie's track record has been pretty shaky with me i absolutely hated his halloween movies house of a thousand corpses and the devil's rejects was probably his best ones and probably when his career was at an all-time high i saw that american satan that he produced and it was laughably bad and here we are in 2022 Rob Zombie's making a fucking monsters film for Netflix. I honestly do not understand the demographic here. It's rated PG, but it looks like a bunch of middle-aged people in orgy cosplay. I really felt like this was a porno spoof a lot of the time. Yeah, but don't get your hopes up. It's still PG, all the way to the end. It looks like everything was shot in 30 frames per second. You know, I tear into this movie, but to be honest, I couldn't take my eyes off from it. Even though, even when you could clearly see like the seams of the latex and the wigs of the characters, I found myself absolutely fascinated with what was playing out on screen. And so, does that make it bad? Cheesy? Unsettling? I don't know. You beat the judge. So this is like a prequel to the show, I guess, before they move out to Los Angeles in that big haunted mansion from the TV show. And according to this film, that they were named after Munster Cheese? Yeah, I guess. So the acting is really fucking bad, the jokes are dumb, the sets are tacky, it feels like they were just adults reenacting as kids playing in a basement somewhere, the special effects were bogus, there were too many Dutch angles and from under shots, the movie just gave me just a little bit of a weird feeling like I needed a shower afterwards. I mean it looked like everyone had a blast playing these characters and had fun making this movie and stuff, but it honestly just kind of looked like one long coke bender or something. I'm giving the monsters an F plus because I'm glad that's over. And that's it, that's the show, that's another quick review. Thought I would get that one out there before the start of October and I can actually watch some good horror movies. And please like and subscribe and smash the bell so you can get notified when new episodes come out on this channel. And this is Movie Buffers. Thanks for watching. See you next time.